Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living! Pizza topic ingredients. Half a package of frozen cut leaf spinach. 15 portobello mushrooms, stems, diced, 1 quarter inch. 3 quarter cup follow your art dairy free parmesan cheese. 2 ounce of Deia dairy free mozzarella style shreds. 2 peeled garlic and diced small. 1 cup follow your art original veganaise. 1 quarter cup pumpkin seeds. One can of Reese artichoke bottoms, half a can of Kickleman Japanese style breadcrumbs, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, cut leaf spinach. So I'm going to use half of, uh, half of this package. Portobello stems, follow your art, dairy free parmesan, shredded cheese, it's non, it's non dairy. There you go, delicious leaf, dairy free, it's mozzarella. Another key ingredient is peeled garlic, follow your heart. Veganaise or any product that that but you want to make sure it's vegan mayonnaise So these are pumpkin seeds also called pepita seeds So this is from Reese select artichoke bottoms stuff with your favorites Kinkleman panko Japanese style breadcrumbs The next step you have to do is you have to defrost this into the microwave or, or the stovetop or whichever way you have to to defrost it. So this is exactly half a pound of frozen spinach, which one hour we're going to do is, is defrost it and then we're going to drain it and prepare it to go in our dressing. Put it in a microwave safe bowl. Okay, now take some of your portobello stems and cut off the end here like this. Take this end off and then what you're going to do is you're going to dice in as small as you can. You're going to basically mince this these stems down. It's going to be part of your stuffing. And this is going to take some time. So I'm going to show you one more time what I'm doing. So I'm going to take this big one here. I'm cutting this end ear, taking this piece off right over here. Okay, see it? And the other side too. The other side's fine. Okay. Wow. Okay. Next thing, the microwave just ended. So what we're going to do is check that. Okay. So this is the spinach that's now de defrosted, but it's very wet. So what you want to do is get rid of that moisture. What I've done is I'm going to be using a metal screen because these holes are much bigger. And I'm going to pour the spinach in the metal screen. Now there's many ways to do this. You could use cheesecloth to get the water out. You could use a large spoon, which is what I'm going to be using, to get as much liquid as possible. Okay, so once we get that done, we'll get back to you and show you the next step. I've used an incredibly large bowl so I can show you how this is all put together. Okay. Once that a lot of the liquid's gone, not all of it, a lot of it, it's mostly dry, put it on the bottom. Now we're going to start adding the ingredients. Okay, so what I've done is I've uh, taken the mushroom stems, about 15 of them, and I've minced them down to about a quarter of an inch pieces. You're not going to mix anything up, there's still more to do here. Follow your art, dairy-free Parmesan, shredded cheese, it's non, it's non-dairy. It's vegan. What we're going to do this time is we're going to mix this container along with Deia Dairy Free. It's mozzarella and it's going to give it a nice little melting point. Another key ingredient is peeled garlic. I got this at, the, at our local grocery. It was a great deal. It comes in these pre-packaged and you, I mean, you have lots of garlic in here. I'm going to open this up. All you need in here is two garlics. Now you, two garlic cloves. Like there's a giant one here. Be nice if I could make work the same. Okay, and that's it. You don't need any more than that. That just adds another interesting flavor. Now, use a separate board unless you're going to use this one, because the garlic will permeate the board. We're going to be getting new boards next year, so you have to bear with me until that happens. Okay, so what I do is I, when I add these pre-cut ones, I cut the very ends off. But you don't have to do that, I mean, you know, it's just what I do. And then you want to try to mince it as small as possible, because it's going to be a big mix. But this is going to add another bit of flavor. You know, sometimes uh, you're cutting like in this case, I'm cutting garlic and it catches on the edge of your knife. Instead of taking a chance of cutting yourself, you could take a paring knife and do this. So we're going to cut this small so that it can go in our mix. See? Works out perfectly. OK. 
Okay. Then take your garlic, put it in. So this is from Reese Select Artichoke Bottoms, stuff with your favorites. Okay, so you open the can. That's so easy. And these are giant bottoms. You're just gonna drain the can. You're going to slice these. This time we're using Kinkleman Panko Japanese style breadcrumbs. Now there's a lot of advantages of using this rather than some normal regular, regular breadcrumbs. Okay, so I wanna just show you the ingredients. Wheat flour, sugar, yeast, salt, that's it. Only 35 milligrams of salt, so this is something really good for people with salt problems. All right, so this is a real solution to be able to use on your food, and we're gonna use it in our dressing. We're gonna use half a cup of this. So watch me as I move this over and open this box. I got this from my local Stater Brothers, and you should be able to find it in the Asian aisle in case you're looking for it. Now, whenever I do this, I never use these tears. In fact, there's no tear on this one. But it does show you to use scissors a lot of times. So use the scissors, because I've opened so many one of these bags and tearing across and messed up the... All right, so I'm just gonna follow the cut here along the edge. This bag comes with a sealer, but on these breadcrumbs, matter of fact, yeah, there it is. So we're gonna, they look like this on the inside. And we're gonna have got an half a cup here. And we're just going to slightly put it on there. Yeah. There, that's half a cup, and we're just gonna mix on top. Now we're gonna mix the entire mix together. I'm going to put in one teaspoon of Mariso Thick Black Bean Soy Sauce. I got this from Greg and Donna. This is what the bottle looks like. Okay, this is my one teaspoon. Okay, and you can just see me pour it on. And it's kind of like, almost like a syrup. That's it right there. I'm just gonna pour it on top of, the, of these vegan A's. Put this back, once you've opened it, you've gotta refrigerate it. Put it back in the fridge. Now you mix it all up. And it's gonna take some time to get all, all the pieces mixed in. Final ingredient is Italian seasoning. And we do mix our own, that's why it's in a container. So we're gonna just, and all you need is two teaspoons for this entire mix. Okay, now it's just a matter of mixing this again. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.